Hello, this is HG Bailey, and welcome back to Let's Play Ocarina of Time! Before searching for Princess Ruto, there's, uh, well, yeah, there's a, at least one, yeah, one thing I want to do while we're here, and that is, let's see, in the throne room here, you might have noticed that there was a torch that was lit, but there's a whole bunch of other torches around here that are not. And if you light all the torches, you get an item out of the deal. So, yeah, let's see what we can do. If I recall correctly, there's five torches in all. There's two at the very end, and then three that are fairly spread out like this. Now, over here in the water, as long as you stay in the shallow water, you'll be fine. Your torch won't go out. But if you go into the deep water there you'll get submerged and then yeah it'll put out the deck stick that you got there but if you successfully light all the torches you can get a key item here hey, hey another heart container with enough of those i always thought you had to use like din's fire in this room and then go all the way back up because i thought like you're uh, what is it? Yeah, I didn't think you could make it all the way down here from up above. Now, let's see. We got the silver scale last time. Where is it thing? Ah, there it is. You see, there's an entrance underwater there that, for some reason, the camera doesn't want to show. But if you just go down here with the silver scale, we can advance the plot. So, let's see what we can do over here. This takes us all the way over to Lake Hylia here. So, yeah, quite a trip to get all the way here. But you have, I believe you have to get the silver scale in order for this bottle to show up here, I think. Or use this entrance or something or other like that. But, all right. Doesn't exactly appear to be empty to me, but okay. But all right, let's see what we can do. Okay, there's another thing we can do as long as we're in the area. Let's see, if you recall, at the entrance to Lake Hylia, uh, there was a fenced-in area. And, well, we can do something over there now. Actually, you know what? Let's uh, take a look at that, uh, what is it, a letter in a bottle or something? Something's in there. Oh, Okay. Oh, but if you're in his belly, wouldn't you be dead? How does that even work? Spoiler alert, we're going to have to tell her father about what's going on, but I guess at least we know where she is now. But we gotta, well, get, get past. Uh, well, get to Lord Jabba Jabba somehow. Okay, so let's see. On this side, I don't think we can climb the fence there. Either because it's too tall or because it's very pointy there. But, if we jump over here... Ha-ha! And as you can see from the Stone of Agony, right in the middle of this area, is a hidden grotto. Let's see what we got here. Oh, you know, I'm going to need... Well, if not now, soon, I will need the Deku Shield. Got quite a few Deku Scrubs to deal with today. Oh, yeah, sure, why not? By the way, for the next part that I'm going to be doing, you want to have at least 40 rupees. But I already have plenty of those. And now I want to well, go back home. Because there's a few things we can do back in Kokiri Forest and, well, the Lost Woods over there. And let's see, I'm going to need my uh, magic beans. We're going to be planting a whole bunch of them. So, yeah, let's just uh, organize things a little bit there. Okay, I need to get to the item shop. So, yeah, the place with the red roof over there. And then we'll go to the Lost Woods. If you recall, back behind the shop, we got a soft soil spot. So, yeah, that's another place where you can plant one of those... Uh, what were they? Uh, magic beans there. 
might as well collect a few more rupees as long as we're here. I think the rupees respawn there every time you leave the screen or something like that. Not that it's a big deal, it was just happened to be on the way there. Okay, so let's see. If you also recall in the Lost Woods, if you went south of where we met up with that Skull Kid, the guy we gave the mask to, uh, there was a soft soil spot over there. So we want to check it out. Hey, nice mask, dude. Okay, so... Ah, good. I was... I almost forgot where the soft soil spot was. I thought it was all the way by that uh, deck of scrub there, but no, no, we're good. Now, let's see. All around the Lost Woods, there's a bunch of those boulders. And, well, we can blow them up. So, let's go do that. By the way, whenever you blow up a boulder like this, it will stay permanently blown up. So you don't have to worry about, uh, well, conserving your bombs for later or whatever. I don't need any bugs, like in a bottle or anything like that, but we do get five rupees out of it. Hooray! Just figured I'd... Show that for completion. Okay, where are we now? Okay. Ah, the Goron City Warp. Okay. We need to go to the forest stage. Or, well, the screen where the forest stage is. We just kind of call it the forest stage, even though it's underground. But this screen. Okay, let's see. Let's, uh, uh, did it? Did I? Okay, good. Ow! Okay, let's get out of here. Run! Let's see, I think there's a couple more boulders around here. Yeah, there they are. You could throw a bomb behind the boulder in the corner there. We get five rupees for this one. But yeah, the thing is, is that that area behind the boulder is a lot bigger than it looks. And at least when I was practicing, I... Yeah, half the time it wouldn't even blow up the boulder somehow. I... Don't know how that works, but okay. Hey, all right. Yeah, let's go for it. Now, one thing about increasing your capacity of decking nuts in the Nintendo 64 version of the game is that when you get the second upgrade, well, let's see, I don't need to buy Deku seeds. But uh, I heard that in the Nintendo 64 version, if you got the poacher's saw before you got the second Deku, Deku nut upgrade or capacity upgrade, you wouldn't be able to get it. The, the latter, for some reason, I don't know why. I have not personally tested that. Not that it's relevant to me because we're going to get both Deku nut upgrades long before we ever get the poacher's saw, but... There it is. Okay, let's see. Around here. Yeah, just wait for the enemies to make a beeline for you. And easy enough. Two woefuls down. Man, by how big that ring of light was, you made me think that this was going to be something remotely useful. But yeah, if you didn't have the 40 rupees for the Deku Nut upgrade, you could have done that as well or used that chest okay so let's see i think that's everything we can do here so yeah let's get out of here and actually i need to go or i want to go to the goron city there's a couple couple things that i want to get over there let me see how many magic beans do we got okay good yeah we should have planted four of them by now okay so all right now if you remember when we first came there, there was a rolling Goron going all over the place. And we tried blowing it up, but we didn't get an item. Despite one of the signs implying that we were going to get something out of the deal. But now that we got regular bombs, we can get the regular item. So let's see what we can do. So let's see, he's on the second level, or whatever it is. Let's see, we go left all the way around. Where is that guy? Oh, man, I'm going to miss him. I need to blow him up before... Did it work? 
I hope that works. Wow! <laughs> wow, I got lucky with that one. Normally, what I need to do is get in front of him and drop a bomb somewhere in this dark hallway. And for some reason, that seems to be the trigger to get the biggest bomb bag from him. Hooray! Whoop! Sorry, dude. But yeah, if you try blowing him up anywhere else on this track, you could maybe go a little out of the hallway, like right around here or so. But uh, yeah, for some reason, he doesn't give you the bomb bag if you do that. I'm guessing they did that just to prevent you from being able to use bomb flowers to get the item out of him. So they make you wait a little while to get that. But yeah, we got a few boulders up there that we couldn't get past. Or, er, well, I suppose we could have used the rope to get over here. But even so, by the time, even if you could get over here before bombs, yeah, we got all these boulders around here, and it's a bit of a maze to get through the whole place. Fortunately, I know which paths will lead to where I want to go. If you're, like, doing a speed run, you would want to just tank the bomb damage and just keep on going. But I would like to have... Oh, I think that's the wrong one. Oh, um... No, that is the right one! I knew what I was doing all along! But alright, might as well, uh, refill our supply of rupees there. Awesome. I suppose I could get two more of those magic beans, but I'll do that when it's more convenient. Oops, no, I did not want to pick up the rock, but, well, I got some hearts out of the deal. Hooray! Ooh, I thought I uh, overshot that, but no, no, we're good. Okay, so, let's see, in the back corner there, in the upper left corner, there's another chest there, I think, or an item, or whatever it is. But we can't get that right now because we don't have a way of dealing with these gray boulders. If only there were an item that could help us with that, but sadly we don't have one. Okay, so let's see. We got the rupees, the sculptula. Should have 29. Okay, good. And let's see. Well, let's get back to Zora's Domain then. If I can uh, drop down here. Yeah, the game doesn't like letting you drop down a level if you put, like, any input other than A. Like, even if you're moving away from the ledge, the game will still say, Oh, you didn't really mean to do that. Uh, I'll let you climb back up. And, yeah, it can get kind of annoying to get down there. But, all right, let's use the secret passage that we unlocked last time with the silver scale there. And, yeah, you just barely have enough breath to get all the way down and back up again. So, yeah, this makes, well, my recording is a lot easier so I don't have to worry about where I'm going to end an episode or something. But, yeah, every time you want to get into Zora's Domain, you have to play the lullaby there. can't use the... Kuko to get past that, unfortunately. Especially at this point, since I've done everything that we can do. Okay, so let's see. If you haven't captured a fish yet, I would recommend doing so. Oh, wait, no, I don't need that yet. I need the letter bottle first. And let's see. So if you don't have a fish, let's see. If you go... Yeah, if you go down this way... And then, in the water, straight ahead there, in the shallow water, you can find a fish and then just swipe your bottle over it, and you'll get one. But yeah, let's get another uh, Decker stick there. Awesome. Not that I need one, but it satisfies my OCD, having a full supply of items there. Hey, how's it going? We've come for your daughter. Hey! Well, she's there now. Oh, well, he did. Oh. What does that even mean? 
some green around the gills. I I'm guessing that means like he's sick or not acting like himself or whatever. Oh, yeah, so I will. But yeah, once you deliver the letter, we get magic bottle number three, or empty bottle number three, so we can use it for whatever we want to do. And for some reason, King Zora has to scoot over, I think, 25 times, or something like that, 25, 26, to fully get out of the way, and yeah, there's no way around that without, like, major glitches, to my knowledge. And let's see. Okay, there's still a couple more items that I want to get before paying a visit to Jabu Jabu. But we got to get past King Zora to do that. By the way, on that platform there, uh, s some people were telling me you don't need to L target in order to talk to the king there. You just need to be on that platform. And that's good enough. Okay, so let's see. To the right there, you see there's a tree way in the back there. That's where I want to go. Although, if you were doing a speed run, you might want to wait until later to go over there. Because once you're done with your business here, you'll be deposited out here. And it's a little faster to get over here. But the items we can get out of it are very worthwhile for a casual playthrough. So I definitely want to come over here if I can get the tree in front of me. Whoa. Okay, where? Ah, there you are. Gotcha. Now let's see. With my bomb here, I want to bomb like about between these boulders here because under that gray boulder there, if I recall correctly, there's another boulder under it. Uh, an ordinary brown boulder there. And... Well, we can't do anything with it now, but the game will keep track of that we've destroyed that boulder. And then, yeah, it saves a little bit of time there. But yeah, we didn't just bomb that area to bomb the boulder. We bombed it to get inside of the Great Fairies Fountain. Maybe they should have given you great fairies, like, different colored hair, so I could tell the difference between you. But we already saw a great fairy of magic. But, okay, we'll just go with this instead. But this is one of my favorite magic spells in the game. Ferrari's Wind. And, yeah, the way it works is whenever you enter a room, you can use the magic and it will set the doorway as a warp point. So, if you're in the middle of a dungeon and you need to stop playing, you could use that. Or, what else could you do? Like, I like using it in dungeons where you gotta go up and down floors a whole lot. Like, you gotta drop down a pit or something. So that way, you don't have to go through the dungeon proper to get all the way back up there. I don't use it too much in the next dungeon, but I do like having it, especially in the later dungeons that are immensely bigger than the ones we've dealt with so far. But alright, so, in order to get inside or Jabu Jabu to look for the princess there. Let's see. Hmm. Well, I don't know who tells you, but I'll just tell you. In order to get inside, you need a bottle with a fish in there. Although, I did see a speedrun where they somehow got onto either the fence or the pillars there or something, and they basically just jumped on top of Lord Jabu Jabu's mouth. And they were able to get inside that way without getting the fish. But can we find Princess Ruto inside Lord Jabu Jabu? Find out next time on Let's Play Ocarina of Time. This is H.G. Bailey, signing off. Have a good day.